Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitu and in this quick tip I'm going to show you how to cut hole on a curved mesh. So um, this three example is going to use the tool available in Blender out of the box. But the last example uh, will show you the ergonometric ski map in action. So let me start with the first one. I'm going to use the a projection method. So uh, for that, I need to create a circle. Oh, let me put it here. I rotate it to ninety degrees and put eight vertices. And with the knife tool, I'm just gonna follow the blueprints. Like this, so once I have this, I'm going to use the vertex connect path tool to be able to make it quite everywhere. Now I'm going to extrude this, remove all the faces. And now I'm going to use the bevel tool, recall the function, and put it to one with two segments to be able to have a, a, an odd edge. And to get rid of the pinching, as you can see we have here, I'm going to slide the vertices a little bit. And now I have it. So this is the first one. Okay, so the second one is gonna use the intersect boolean uh, tool. So Blender in included recently the, the possibility to create boolean operation right in edit mode. So for that, I need to create another, another geometry. So. I'm going to create a cylinder this time. Oh, let me redo it. Recall the function, put it to 8. The same, rotate it to 90 degrees. And let me scale this, reduce the depth a little bit. And with that, I'm going to go to mesh face intersect boolean so I have this let me remove the face and I'm going to use the vertex connect path here do a bevel here so it's going to recall the last parameter I I put in it and the same just push the vertices a little bit And I have this one. So this one is the intersect boolean. So now let me show you the ergonometrics K map in action. Oops, excuse me. Okay, here we go. So here it is. As you can see, it was uh, fast. So the and this is the concept about the the, the ergonometric scheme app. It's uh, it's using what you have available in Blender and put it in a way allows you to uh, to do your your three D model um, really efficiently and really quickly. So let me reshow you quickly how it, what I did. So, I grow the selection and select the contour. I duplicate it and make it circle and scale it. I just push it back to be able to do an extrusion and recalculate the normal and do a Boolean operation. I grow the selection and make everything quad here, shrink it 
select the edges and just create the hard edge here and now what I did here I just do a symmetry and I have it so this is it the uh, as I said setting blender in the right way will allows you to do the your your 3d model really fast and really efficiently and um, remember it's out of the box I didn't install uh, any external add-ons to be able to do that so I will show you more more tips about it uh, um, uh, the, the next week and if you have questions don't hesitate to contact me uh, at info.penfinity.com and on the Instagram on, uh, of Penfinity. And uh, yeah, hope you like it and see you soon, guys.